So, hi to everyone, this is Shirudak and welcome to the let's play of Conquest Frontier Wars. So I'm going to play this game, even though <laughs> yeah, I downgraded it uh, uh, at the end of the Hegemonia videos. So the last Hegemonia video I said that this game is uh, <laughs> miles away from Hegemonia. But okay, that's not, that's not actually that true. So, I prefer Hegemonia, but yeah, that wasn't... <laughs> That was an acceler not acceleration, <laughs> but exaggeration. Yeah. So um, this game is still good. So I mean, uh, a lot of people I think still play it sometimes. Uh, yeah, this is one of those mem memorable games which I actually missed. So I didn't play this game when I was a kid. I played this in 2012 or 13. So this is actually pretty. Let's say, in quotes, a newer game to me. Um, it took me a lot of time to actually figure uh, figure out how to make it work. And if I have, so if someone is interested in, in that, I would rather make a new video than explain it. But basically, what you need to do is if, with the Steam version. So I would recommend the Steam version. That's what that's the one I have. Uh, after getting the Steam version, make sure you go and search for something like All CQ Fix Patch. And you should get this pack created by All Grey. Um, and just follow his instructions. Uh, perfectly just follow each step, okay? And then uh, you will end up with this. So you will end up with this, and uh, everything should work fine. Okay, so I'm gonna start a new campaign. As far as I can see, there is no um, there is no difficulty setting. I can't remember if there was for the campaign. Anyway, the version is 1.07 that I use. So this, you will get this if you follow all the instructions uh, in that patch package. Okay, so I'm gonna start a new campaign. Let's see. If uh, I have everything right. I'm gonna try to experiment with this so that I move it to the right side. Uh, it actually fixes a bug if you move it to the middle, but that results in less quality of the background. Oh, I forgot to say that this is actually a space RTS game. It's a combination of Red Alert 2 and Hegemonia. Okay? I'm gonna tell you what I don't like about this game uh, and what I like about this game. The campaign is pretty long so <coughs> sorry for that so uh, it will take I think like 7 to 8 videos for sure especially due to the fact that um, I can't record um, I mean my recording crashes when I try to load them up so uh, that's gonna be an issue so I'm gonna tell you that uh, once I get there so Let's start a new campaign, the Terran campaign. Oh, I already, yeah, I already started this just to test it. Let's go to the interaction. If you don't have anything, then you will just get this. I mean, if you haven't start as the first um, start of the game when you click on the Terran campaign, you will get to this um, cutscene. And the Hegemonia, I don't know, I think this game came out in 2000 and... I need to check. Hegemonia came out in 2002. I think this game, if this game came out in 2000, 2001, I can understand why these cutscenes look really bad. Not that bad, but if you compare these with the Hegemonia cutscenes, those are masterpieces compared to this. Although the ground control cutscenes were even worse. So for downgrading this game, it's not that bad, so... 
nothing moves that fast. She's at 3,000. 2,000. What's the cutscene, stupid? Weapons online. Hi, sir. 1,500. What you would do in this situation? Get the hell out of here, right? I can't get a lock. She's moving too fast. 200. 100. What the hell was that? Nothing in the database. Running diagnostics now. Sir, more contacts moving at high speed. Lots of them coming right at us. And you can't detect the large alien cruiser coming? Look at that. You can't detect this. Just don't understand that. Andromeda. TNS Andromeda. The bug we have seen is gonna be the species. The beacon is still there. Imagine this game. Uh, so during the gameplay, imagine this if it was done in the hegemonial style. That would be wow. <laughs> okay. So this is gonna be the first mission, and that's what you're gonna get. Brought to you by Implant Heaven. I like this though. Arms, packs to die for. <laughs> At Implant Heaven, a new you is so cheap. We must be crazy. <laughs> Keeping you close. To home. This is Jill Davis with your TNR news brief. Terran Forces wants to remind us all once again to retain complete silence regarding military affairs. All officers caught talking to non-military press will be severely reprimanded. Loose lips, gentlemen. What is reprimanded? Commander, this is Admiral Halsey. 130 hours ago, the TNS Andromeda, commanded by Rear Admiral Hawks, went through the Tau Seti wormhole. We lost contact with her at T plus two hours. We immediately dispatched the TNS Austin to look for the Andromeda. About eight hours later, we lost contact with the Austin, too. Since your outfit is the closest, I need you to lead a recon squadron in force to locate her. I know you're still fresh, so I'm assigning Captain Tom Blackwell to your group. He served with me in the Succession Wars and is the most experienced field officer I have. I suggest you listen to his advice. Be prepared for anything. Halsey, out. Commander, I'm locking jump coordinates with your squadron. When we arrive in Tosetti, I'll uplink again. Okay, and this is gonna be the end of the recording, because if I click on the start button, now, then the, the game and the recording also crash, so... Uh, so, what I have to do is I will end the recording here, and I will get into the mission, and then I'm gonna start another recording. And hopefully... Uh... Uh, yeah, so if the mission gets completed, then I can stop the recording because a pop-up window uh, saying mission is successful will appear. And that's where I'm going to stop the recording and I will continue with the next mission again. I'm going to record the, uh, the briefing, uh, the briefing uh, um, uh, so the intro uh, of the mission again and I will get into the mission. So I'm going to have double recordings unfortunately. So. It sucks, but I couldn't make it work otherwise. Due to the fact that I'm using this Voodoo um, uh, virtual graphics card, which fixes a lot of things with the game. This is this came from the patch. I try to use my own direct, I mean the uh, DirectX 10 with my own graphics card, but the problem is and the recording doesn't work at all. So I didn't want to switch for another recording and set all things up. So I'm just gonna do this. So thank you guys for watching. This is gonna be the intro video to see if um, everything works fine. Um, yeah, the first two. So the first two is gonna be the intro videos and a test for me on YouTube to see if everything looks fine or not. Um, if something crashes, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I will try to make sure nothing crashes. 
and hopefully I can finish this game like in, in one more, one or two months. It's really long, and you need to be really like, uh, yeah. So it's possible to save in this game as well. That seemed to work fine. So okay, that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys in the first mission.